<laughs> a North baby. Yeah. Tell them where you from grew the up North. from. Yeah. From the North, you know. <laughs> now, now you got to give them exact Let coordinates. What, what streets was you? What streets you came up I was from? skimming and I did. Oh, all man, day, I'm every day. Familiar, Nick. That's the hood. Hey, feel the, the real. <laughs> so let, let's touch on it. Okay. Blue Diamond. How did you uh, get introduced into the adult entertainment business? <sighs> well, Man, she Steve. She hit the sigh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a goodie right here. Well, all right. So let's start at, first of all, I've been out on my own since I was 15. Yeah, let's start. Okay? Yeah, let's take it down. And um, started off in, well, actually Portland. Went from Portland to, well, after my mom moved us from Dallas to Portland. I went from Portland to Las Vegas. What what age are, what age are you in Portland? Uh, I was actually fourteen and a half whenever I left home. Okay. So yeah, fifteen I was in Vegas, you know, and then from Vegas at sixteen I went to L.A. Wait 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 wait. What what takes someone to Vegas though? Listen, we gotta take this. This is slow. Well, <laughs> it's a lot going on. Yeah, it was yeah, a whole a, lot <laughs> going on actually. Um, from Portland to I Vegas. was with some friends that ended up not to be friends like they were supposed to be. And, um, you know, I ended up having to, like, get away from them, like, yeah. on some crazy was it, shit. Was it money involved? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's always money involved. Absolutely. Yeah, and, them. you know, I just I just couldn't deal with the situation and the circumstances. Right. Now, I feel so you. <laughs> I had to make a move, you know, for it. And, yeah, but luckily, I mean, hey, I made it through the storm. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, hey, I ended up having to leave Vegas. And go to LA now. Out there, I was doing some, you know, gang banging and stuff. You Hold know, on. whoa, 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 whoa. Um, what set you claim for? <laughs> Ten Trey Hoover Crip. Oh, she gripping. Hey, oh, <laughs> Hoover Deuce. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she Hoover Deuce. <laughs> hey, what's so fucked up about LA is like you could be on one street and then on the next street, it's yeah. like some whole other absolutely, shit. Absolutely, absolutely. How long did it take you to figure out LA when? Really, none to be played Well, with. you know, um, I was getting into some things, you know, some things I can't really talk about. Oh, <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, you realize that, you know, you want something better for your life. You know what I'm saying? So um, I actually was dating um, this guy, and he just so happened to be um, a director for West Coast Productions. Oh, wow. And uh, he biggest. told me he was just like, I want you to get away from this area. Like, you're too beautiful. You got so much going for yourself. I just want to put you in a modeling. And he ended up um, putting me into modeling. But, you know, it was just like magazine stuff or whatever. And he always had me dropping off the checks to the locations and shit, like just to the front door. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and then one day, the door was open. Like, I had no idea what was really happening up at these locations. Right. And so I ended up, fuck, going in the house because the director was like, just come in. You can put it up on the kitchen table. I'm like, okay. So I go into the kitchen table. It's a whole ass orgy. Oh. oh. Going when he said, the oh, fuck hey, down. When he so, said put it up on the kitchen table, he was not talking about the paperwork. Guy. Right. <laughs> Right, so I was just like, oh my, like, they, they fucking, I just hear, uh, uh, I'm like, huh, excuse me, they really in this bitch fucking, so, some told me to open up the book and look at the checks, and whenever I seen the numbers on them checks, I was like, you know what, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot my shot. <laughs> do, you, do you think that was a setup? No, not yeah, he really, set you up to, because, to try to get you in there? no, not really, because like, what kind of cameras yeah. did they have? It was the cell phones. Nah, it was it was like real real production lights, um, someone taking stills, um, all it, it was yeah very professional, a hundred percent film. Uh, you know it was some top of the line shit. Okay, <laughs> okay, so so okay, so you fast forward, you see the check amount. How do you approach your your boyfriend who's a director of porn to say I want to jump in porn? Well. Like I say, I knew I was very freaky at that age. So I like like put it on him real crazy and I was just like, Babe, do you think I could be a porn star? And oh, he you was said just put it like, on him. What, what are we talking? You talking about like words or what we... No, like I oh, just I've a... I fucked him. Like we oh, we yeah, had yeah, sex yeah, that yeah. night. Yeah, that's how you gotta and, that's how you um and like I just went like super crazy and he was just like 
the hell got into you? you and I'm like, babe, little- do you think I could be a good porn star? Like, do you really think? And he's like, yeah, actually, you probably be one of the best. You're going to get awards. You're going to really, really do things. And I'm like. You don't think that's a little petty? Like the <laughs> fucking nigga to the point of exhaustion. And I got like, to hey. ask a question. Now, you know, I need answers. So how long did that last? <laughs> Um, what until I was like 20, so a good two years, two years, and yeah. then you just said, Fuck this, I can't do it no more. Or? Well, actually, the reason why I got in it was to get out, you know what I'm saying, get some money and get the fuck out, you know what I'm saying. So, Shout out to Street Stars, nigga. Moving. Hey.